Hi, welcome to Astrology for Gan Traders. My name is Olga Morales. This is a preview of my beginner's course, a short presentation giving you a couple of highlights from my lessons, just as an overview, and I hope you enjoy it. Gan often writes about everything having a positive and negative side, and this is called the principle of duality. The yin yang symbol represents this male and female energy, or light and darkness. And each zodiac sign has a duality and expression. The positive projection is when the energy flows in a magnetized state. And on the other side, there is a negative projection, which is demagnetized and unable to flow. Now, one of the zodiac signs that is very important, especially to the ancients, we have, they have found that the bull actually represented in some Paleolithic caves in France thousands and thousands of years ago where the actual uh, just portrayed the bull and the stars systems within them especially the Pleiades which is known also as the seven sisters now the central star of the Pleiades is called Alcyon now Alcyon in Arabic means the Al center and it was believed that our solar system actually revolves around this central star can understand how important it was it's isn't it interesting that actually the Newark Stock Exchange was founded on the 17th of May 1792 the day that the Sun was actually exactly conjunct this star Alcyon at 27 Taurus now this is where we get the symbolism of the bullishness in May the, the time they used to celebrate the fertility rites and bull worship in the month of May and we get a bullishness and on the opposite side, we actually get the sign of Scorpio. Now, Scorpio was a time when things begin to die because the sun is getting lower in the heavens. And this is where we get the, as soon as we move on to October, November, we get all the celebration for the dead, like Halloween. And in the Christian calendars, we get All Souls and All Saints Day. So it's a time to celebrate death. And this is the dark side. So you can see and in terms of trading this is the bullish side uh, sorry the bearish side now obviously the bear is not um, Scorpio but there's a constellation called the Great Bear or the Big Dipper which is actually uh, reaching its highest elevation when the Sun is in uh, Scorpio when it's rising so you can see where the symbolism comes from now uh, Taurus on the positive side is a sign which is dedicated patient practical sensual, dependable and stable and on the negative side can be quite plodding, stubborn, inflexible, materialistic, self-indulgent and greedy. Now one of the questions I get often pretty much always asked by traders who are trying to take in this astrology is that how is it possible Olga that the the planets can affect the markets? Well we've got to think of it as the markets as mass psychology. The, everyone is, is dealing with emotions we are dealing buyers and sellers it's to do with how we're feeling and so this is how we've got to think of it that our bodies are made up of over 75 percent of water and as astrologers we know that the planets have um, an influence on the ma magnetic fields of the earth and ourselves we are just energy so the the, um, sorry the moon can pull tides and it's pulling out inner tides and so every day the um, is it's, it's an emotional ride and and this is reflected in the market so this is an example here this is what I've called moon tides on the S&P and you can see I've plotted the um, phases of the moon on this chart and this um, round circle here is the actual full moon and when it's black the black dot represents the new moon so this from the full moon to the new moon it's called the waning phase and they have been bullish um, three times in this particular period and the opposite being the waxing phase from the new moon to the um, first um, full moon here is actually being quite bearish so you can see that a lot of people just use the moon quite efficiently to trade um, these emotional ups and downs you can see it <laughs> Now again, there's a symbolism between the buyers and the sellers and that's what we're dealing with every day. And the planets can, um, depending on their alignments, can make us feel on a collective um, level fearful or exuberant and that's how we can forecast. Now 
Gans, this is a page, a little bit of a page out of Gans' commodity course on how to forecast, where he actually does mention a planet. Um, if we look down here, this is seven. Seven is a fatal number referred to many times in the Bible, and it is ruled by the planet Saturn, which brings about contractions, depression, and panics. Seven times seven equals 49, which is shown to be a fatal evil year, causing extreme fluctuations. Now, what I've done on this chart using timing solution is overlapped four periods or four cycles of Saturn, which is almost 30 years, 29.5 years, um, from the, on the Dow Jones from 1885. And what it does, it reveals a specific trend according to the zodiac sign of Saturn. You can see these low points around Gemini and Cancer, and again in Libra and Scorpio. But then we get these peaks, like in Sagittarius, mid-Sagittarius, and also in the Aries and Taurus zone. So using this information, you can actually um, make a composite of these planetary highs and lows and try to um, work out in the future how they may relate to the markets. Okay, that's the end of part one. I hope you join me for part two.